Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the Flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the Flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the Flutter and then the React Native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer we also have the course related to the full stack developer related to the uh, node.js express mongodb as well as the flutter over here and if you would like to join the uh, flutter bootcamp there is also a bootcamp course over here so make sure to go and check out the course over here there are free and then they paid codes and if you want to be a job ready flutter developer this is the course that you would want to take so see you guys on the next lesson till then have a great day now let us go and add an option to delete our this particular tax over here so for that what we will add over here is we will make use of this swipe to delete over here so for that we will make use of this particular card so let's go and wrap this one over here so i guess we'll wrap the uh, dismissible widget with the one more widget that will be of the uh, dismissable widget over here and here the first thing that we need to provide is the key and then the key will be of our, our value key that we are going to make use over here and that will be of the uh, tax that we have right so the uh, tax dot the id so that is the unique id that we need to provide over here so once we have that particular key and we'll just go and make use of the direction over here and direction will be of the uh, dismiss uh, direction dot i guess the start to end or maybe end to start so i guess end in start will be better so from here to here so that should be good enough and let's go down and uh, this uh, we can also have the threshold so how much of the person that you need to drag in order to get that activated so here i'll just make use of the const and we need to provide the uh, the map over here and then the direction will be from the end to start and then the threshold i guess i'll just make use of the 70 percent so the user have to drag at least a 70 percent to enable that one so let's just go and add the one more so let's just go and add the background and in background i'll just make use of small color box so i just want to show some color at the background and from here we'll just go and add the color color will be of the colo color start the red over here so let's just go and close this one over here and i guess we'll add the child as well over here in the child i'll just go and add some uh, padding over here and in the padding we'll just go and make use of the padding of the edge insect of the all and that will be of the i guess it would be uh, good enough so let's just go and close this one over here and once we have the padding we'll just go and add the child over here padding has a child right see a child the child and i'll just go and align this one to a proper alignment so let's just go and add the alignment and then the alignment will be of the center right so it's the center of the right over here and once we have that let's just go and add the child for this alignment and i'll just go and add the icon over here so icons icons dot the let's make use of the delete over here i guess the delete will be fine and the color will be of the white so that should be good for this particular um the background color over here and let's go down over here after this after the background uh, we require this is for the color box right color box is over here and after color box what we have to do is we will have to make use of the confirm dismiss so here we will get the direction and we need to write some functionality for this one so confirm the dismiss so we have to show some dialog box before user can go and delete that particular task so i'll just go and say su and if i confirm and then the eis confirm dismiss and i'll just go and pass in the context and then the tux i'll just pass in the tux that the id over here 
so we'll just go and create this particular let's go and create this particular functionality over here so let's go on to the below over here and i'll just go and make use of this require a future and we will return a boolean from here and we require a build context and then the string uh, of the id so if you can go over here this requires the function which is a future of the boolean so that's why we need to return a future of the boolean and once we go down over here we need return from here let's just go and return from here await and i'll just go and show the so the dialogue over here let's just go and show the dialogue it should be of the await over here and we are going to show a dialogue so user can click on yes and no over here so let's just go and try to arrange this one properly and let's just close it over here so we'll have the context and in the builder we get the uh, context over here right so let's just go and grab that particular context over here and from here we are going to return the uh, alert uh, dialog over here and in the alert dialog we are just going to provide some title and this should be of the const of the text and i'll just go and say are you sure you want to delete it right and let's just go and have the one more that will be of the content so let's just go and add the content to the text do you want to delete this particular tax that should be good enough and once we have those let's just go and add the accents now accents text the list of the widget so let's just go and grab the accents and in the accents i'll just go and add one text button and in the text button we'll just go and add it on press and here uh, once we click on this particular button let's just go and add the unpress and on press we will just go and say that the we want to if this is of the yes button we want to go and call the ref right dot the uh, read over here and we need to provide the tux view model provider dot the notifier and we want to delete that particular tux over here and once we pop we want to pass in the true from here since this requires a boolean so once we pop that particular dialog we will return a true from here so that it can say that it was deleted or not so once we have that it, we also need to pass in the child over here child will be of a simple uh, text over here and that text we will just go and pass in the let's say uh, delete over here and that should be fine and once we have that let's go and copy this one from here and we require one more button that will be of the cancel and that will be of the cancel and here we don't want to delete that tux as well just remove that the delete option and here from here we'll return the false from here and we have this particular hard coded text over here uh, what will this will go and add one extension uh, for this so let's go to the our common i guess we don't have any of the common so let's just go and create the one more common over here that will be of the extension and in the extension we'll just go and create the one file over here and that file will be of the string the uh, hard coded so string h a r d c o hard coded dot d dot file so once we have that let's just go and create the extension onto the uh, string hard code on the string and uh, here we are just going to return the string of the hard coded over here and we'll just go and return the this as well so that should be fine and now once we have this hard-coded uh, extension on the string we will make use of that so let's just go back to the over here and we'll just make use of the hard-coded over here and in case uh, we want to find out all of those hard-coded it will be much more easier if you want to later add in this some translation and all of this stuff uh, because you need to find the hard-coded text and then you need to replace it with your translation file so we'll just go and add a simple trick over here with the hard-coded text so let's just go and add that one so i guess that should be good enough over here and we already have provided so uh, all of those also you can just go and make sure you add the hard-coded over here and that will be much more better practice to add the hard-coded over here since this is a small application we are not going to add any of the translation and all of this stuff but it will be good enough so if you can go and add some translation in your own
so let's just go and remove all of those and that should be good enough and let's go and rerun our application now and we are getting the list of the uh, tags and what I'll do is I'll delete the first one from here so now you can see that if I just drag uh, 10 some 10 to 20 percent you will not get that uh, the activated over here which is of the confirm dismiss but if I drag it till 70 percent you will see that you will get uh, activated and you'll see that are you sure you want to delete I'll just go and cancel it it should not delete that and it should put it back over here but if I go and click on the delete so it should go and delete that particular record and once the delete is successful we also want to show some information back in our screen so the user uh, can know that okay so the tax was deleted successfully so what we'll do is let's go down over here and I guess I can copy the um, let's go to our update tax we have one created already over here so I'll just go and grab this one from here so I guess I'll just go and grab the whole listener from here let's grab the listener from here and go to the our talk screen since we don't have any of the listener I'll just go and add those listener over here and we are not going to add in the overlay because we already have the loading state and here what we will do is this particular listener we are going to listen is to be it's deleted so if that was deleted over here and once that is deleted we'll just go and import this one from here and if it is deleted we are going to say the tax deleted successfully and we are going to show this particular information or, or the toast message with night emanation and here we don't want to go and pop this this is already our, our root route so we don't want to pop that we want to invalidate that and we want to get all the tax so that is optional but uh, in case you want to do it that's also perfectly fine but if you don't want that's also perfectly fine so um, in, in the real use case, you don't want to do every time the invalidation and getting the tax that cost loss of the uh, network and then the CPU power as well. So in the real app, you should not do that. But since this is uh, just a simple app, we are going to just make use of the invalidation over here. And now I'll just go and listen to that one. So whenever the state changes, I'm going to fire that one over here and that should show us the the our deleted toast message over here so let's just go and reload our application from here and now if i go and delete this one so let's just go and delete okay so now you can see that we got that particular the information or the toast message as well as uh, our the view model was the reset right so we cleared all of our view model data and then we call the get tax uh, function again so that's cool and what we'll do is uh, you can also i guess you can also add the uh, hard coded over here so in case you want to replace it with some translation file so that's all for this lesson and uh, we will meet up in our coming up lessons and if you have any more update i'll come back to this particular course and update it but i guess uh, we have successfully implemented all of our information that we have provided in our api so let's go to our the uh, let's go to the let's go to our data over here and api and all of those functions or the features or the uh, methods that we have defined here has been successfully implemented in our application so that's all for this lesson and um, we'll meet up in the next one till then uh, have a great day